Welcome or welcome back. I'm Kelsey and I know, I know another draw with me video. I always say this channel is about oil painting, but you know what a foundational skill of painting is? Something that unless you master, you'll struggle to achieve your goals. Something that I've been personally neglecting up until a few months ago, drawing. One of my big artistic goals that I've been putting off and have been super afraid to achieve and show on camera is trying to master the human form, figurative painting, feeling comfortable enough drawing the human body that I can work on portraiture, something that I've literally always wanted to do but have always felt super afraid of. So today I'm going to be doing something that I've really never done before and that's figure drawing. We'll be working on some figure sketches in my sketchbook using some charcoal and pencils. I think these sketches turn out really well, I'm really proud of them. They're there were some failed attempts along the way and I will show you guys at the very end, so make sure you watch the whole video. Uh, but yeah, I think these turn out really great and I'm really proud of them. So without further ado, let's get started. I was incredibly intimidated by these fairly complicated poses, which by the way, I found on New Masters Academy. They have this whole library of reference photos that's super useful and so I revert to this kind of stick figure block-in sketch where I just try to find the angles of all the different limbs and then build things up from there. And I just wanna apologize about this shot right here. It went out of focus so you can't really see what I'm doing, but I think you get the gist. And trying to nail these poses without any kind of rough block in makes my brain just completely freeze up. I cannot imagine doing that. So we go with stick figures and that serves me pretty well throughout this, uh, throughout this whole experience. And you'll notice as we go through these four sketches, that I pay basically no attention to the face, hands, or feet. I don't render them in detail. These sketches are really too small and rough to really do that, so I just try to block them in and suggest their presence. And this second pose in particular gave me a really hard time trying to figure out the rotation of the back and its proportions was like way harder than it looked. And looking at this footage as I record the voiceover, I can see that uh, his butt as we go through this is just like not it doesn't look right. I mean, that's just the underwear that he's wearing. It's kind of like a speedo type of underwear, but like I said, I think this whole exercise is really valuable for me. Just trying to sort of build that muscle memory with the human form and be able to reach a point at, you know, at some point in the future where I feel really comfortable with doing this is, um, is a really big goal that I have. So yeah, there you have me working with the kneaded eraser and the charcoal pencils. These charcoal pencils are fairly standard. Uh, they're just the General's charcoal pencils. You can get them at any art store. I find that the General's charcoal pencils are actually kind of hard to sharpen. Um, so I'm looking for something that can sharpen them a little bit better or to maybe a different brand. But in the meantime, I stick with these. They're just what I have. And uh, yeah, they're super easy to find, very cheap, super affordable, and a quality art material if you can look past the sharpening issue. This third pose, I was super unsure of. The shadow shapes were really unique and they sort of casted the figure in this really kind of unique light where he sort of looks almost emaciated, like really kind of starving and very thin. But the nice thing about poses with light coming from only one direction, the shadow shapes are a nice sort of guidepost to figuring out your anatomy and your proportions. And I think this one really came together in the end. He ended up looking very anatomically correct in my opinion. I think I sort of nailed the proportions with this one mostly. Yeah, if I had to point out a favorite pose in this spread, it would be this one for sure. Uh, I do think the sort of way that his stomach looks caved in is very odd, but that's just how the reference photo looks and it's really weird. And I'm not doing a lot of sort of blending with these pencils. I'm really just sort of doing shading only with how hard I'm pressing things down. And now we're taking a little bit of a sharpening break. Uh, I had to condense this quite a bit just because the sharpening ended up taking forever and ever and ever and they really don't reach a fine point, but maybe that's the sharpener that I'm using. I really have no idea. Um, and this is the last one. This pose was so heavily based off of the arm that I thought I would start with it and then I realized that going with like the rest of the body, like the thighs in particular, would help me sort of get there a little bit quicker and so I end up working from the thighs and then outward and using the arm sort of only at the end and the head gave me some trouble so I erase that and then I try again and uh, the neck was actually kind of unique and you can't really see his shoulder it sort of recedes into the distance 
Um, and then you just see the other hand on his left, I believe, um, coming out past the figure, and I'll block that in in a minute. And like I said, not really focusing on the hands at all, just thinking about where the shadow is on this form and how light um, is wrapping around this form to create a kind of 3D sort of effect. And yeah, I think it, I think it's coming together pretty well. Uh, I think the heads on all of these are a little bit wacky, but that's just sort of where we're at right now. And um, yeah, I think he looks very muscular and a little bit strange, but uh, yeah, I think all of these really came together and I ended up being really sort of proud of myself for being willing to branch out like this, but also film it and share it with you guys, doing something I've never done before and really sort of making myself kind of vulnerable like this. So yeah, uh, let's talk about sort of the overview and I will show you some horrible mishaps that I didn't really show on camera. Okay, we're done. Uh, I think these turned out really well. So here is our spread. I have some wax paper on this side. This just protects the sketch. Both of the sketches actually from transfer because the charcoal is so malleable and soft that it will spread around. So I really am a big fan. I think this one right here is my favorite just because it was so interesting. It's such a weird pose and it was so complicated to actually do. Um, I talked a little bit about in the voiceover how I was relying on this stick figure kind of block in and that is very very true. Uh, that really came in clutch actually. I think that's definitely a thing that I will be using going forward. So as promised in the intro, I did actually try to do some portrait sketches. They turned out horrible. So if, if you don't want like nightmare fuel, um, click off the video, pause it, skip ahead. I'll put a time code up here if you want. This is like, this will haunt me. Okay, this, this will haunt me. Okay, all right, are you ready? Are you ready? It's really very bad. I'll show you the worst one first just because it's really funny to look at. Um, so I, I was, for the first sketch, this is the second one that I'm about to show you. For the first sketch, I was, you know, doing the basic things, you know, blocking in the head, adding in charcoal, etc. And that when that didn't work, I went to the subtractive approach, which is to put on a base layer of charcoal and then go with your needed eraser and erase parts around the head. So, um that didn't it didn't it didn't go well. It didn't go well. Here, just look at it. Does that look like a person to you? Be honest with me. That does not look like a person. <laughs> that looks like that looks horrible. That looks like something out of my nightmares. That looks like some kind of weird demonic figure that would be the monster of the week on Supernatural. Um, but like in the early seasons when things were actually really scary. Yeah, um, so let's talk about the first one now. The first one isn't nearly as bad in comparison, but still pretty horrible. Um, looks like a four year old's attempt to do a marble, like do a study of like a marble um, sculpture, like, you know, some sculpture of antiquity. It's, it's horrible, it's disgusting. And I like that I can say that about myself. I don't feel bad about my abilities as an artist. I can just freely tell you that this sketch is absolute shit. And um, that's fine. <laughs> because like I said in my last video, it's okay to not be good at things when you're first doing them. That's fine. And you should be comfortable admitting that you're not good at something. Because not being good at something is actually the first step to getting good at something. <sighs> so that is this video. I hope you had a great time. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked uh, my personality and the sketches that we made today, feel free to subscribe and comment down below how you're going out of your comfort zone and what your long-term artistic goals are. And I will see you maybe later this week with a brand new vlog or maybe next week. I haven't said it yet. So either way, I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.